My dear friends, cilia are very important for the health of the nose and sinuses. When we say the sinuses drain into nose, and nose is basically draining the whole mucus to the nasopharyngeal area, it is not by gravity, it's by the fine ciliary movement. And nasal cilia are moving at a very fast speed of 10 to 20 beats per second. And the nasal mucociliary clearance time is 10 to 20 minutes. But I'm sure you'll be remembering the name like Young syndrome or Cartagena syndrome, where the cilia are not functioning properly. My dear friends, there's a famous question that which of the following tests is, you know, not the test meant to detect the function of cilia. So what are the various tests to assess the nasal ciliary function? Number one test is the saccharin test. My dear, saccharin test is not for taste. Saccharin test is when you keep the saccharin in the front of the nose, after how many minutes you feel the taste in your throat. So that much time the cilia took to clear the saccharin to your nasopharyngeal area and then to the oropharyngeal area. So saccharin test is for the ciliary function assessment. Number two, the charcoal test. If you keep small amount of black suit charcoal in front of nose, after how many minutes it reaches the oropharyngeal area, that's the nasal mucociliary clearance time and normal is 10 to 20 minutes, we know that. It's very difficult to see the charcoal, you know that. You can miss that charcoal black particles if you examine yourself. But you can do the third test, gamma scintigraphy. Same charcoal test being done the same way, but this time you label the, char the suit charcoal particles with the you know gamma uh, sensitive radio isotope so if you if you use the radio isotope labeled charcoal particles and after a few minutes if you do the gamma scan of this patient you can see those particles have gone to the oropharyngeal area or not so that will tell you the time in a better way but my dear friends the electron microscopic evaluation of cilia is only for the structural evaluation not for the functional evaluation so electron microscopy can tell you the microturbulence, you know, is the, is the cilia structurally properly formed or not. So the various ciliary function tests are, number one, the saccharin test. Number two, the charcoal test. Number three, the gamma scintigraphy. But electron microscopy is meant for the structural evaluation of the cilia, not for the functional evaluation. Keep learning.